Hi guys, so William Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video with skincare expert, Ooh. YouTuber, creator, <laughs> producer, and all around good guy, James Wells. Hello. Hi. James, you will know from YouTube uh, very much in sort of the same space. Um, yeah. And James does a lot of skincare videos. We did a video back, we actually had a look, it was February 2018. Yeah. And you went through the 10 steps of Korean skincare. Yes. And I found it really interesting. I know that a lot of you guys did too. So I thought, let's get you back in. We're gonna strip it back and maybe take a look at, uh, we all love like a top five, top 10, yeah, best another five. Down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also it seems to do quite well in terms of search. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna do the top five kind of like best uh, that you guys should be trying out. So really focusing on men. And if you don't know anything about Korean skincare, then these are the five products you should be going for. So one thing you mentioned was the 10 step mm -hmm. Korean skincare routine, which is all good, but one thing to note about the 10 step um, yeah. skincare routine is that you don't have to do 10 steps, okay. right? It's just what is available to you if you wanted to do it. Someone like me, I'd do 10. Yeah. The average person would probably do four at a yeah. push. Yeah. So a lot of the products I have here are products that are kind of three in ones, but not in the like two in one shampoo, shampoo. gel wash kind of way. Um, so one thing that's really important is chemical exfoliating. Okay. Do you use a chemical exfoliator? I have tried, yeah. Yeah, so, so can you say that, do you mean yeah. like a peel? Um, or not, not that necessarily, extreme. not that extreme, mm -hmm. no. So um, whilst you can buy at-home peels, I personally wouldn't because I'm terrified mm -hmm. of them. But you have chemical exfoliators which are um, AHAs and BHAs, so alpha hydroxy acid that really kind of works on the surface, mm -hmm. to put it very simply. So uh, fine lines, pigmentation, whereas a BHA works a little bit further down in the skin, so it can really exfoliate inside the pore. Okay. So if you have oily skin, BHA is probably the way to go. Mm -hmm. If you have drier skin, AHA is probably the way to go for you. But okay. you can use both. But um, I want to show you this. This yes. is a two-in-one AHA and BHA. Okay. So you'd use a chemical exfoliator in the toner stage mm -hmm. of your skincare routine. So you cleanse and then you'd move on to this. So this is good because it's an AHA and BHA, so you get the surface exfoliation and the in-depth exfoliation as well. So you never really have to worry about what one to use mm -hmm. and you know what one's gonna work best for you because you get the best of both with this mm -hmm. one. And this is before moisturizing, so before moisturizing. Cleansing using this mm -hmm. and then you move on. That's right, yeah. So I would use this in the evening, however, because AHA has been known to sensitize your mm -hmm. skin to the sun, so you can get a little bit red. I've had that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. like very obvious as well. Mm -hmm. It's not like a subtle over time. Onto a cotton pad rather than just misting. Yes, yeah. yeah. So the problem, this does come in a spray bottle, but with chemical exfoliators, you obviously want to avoid the eye area. Yes, so of course. I made the mistake though of misting <laughs> this on my face with my eyes open, which I think is a very obvious thing not to do. Um, it didn't go very very well. I've got another three in one product and this is a serum, this a toner cool. and a mist. I've used the majority yeah. of it as you can see. I love that. Yeah, so in the 10 step routine, mm -hmm. all the steps you can do is gonna be a first cleanse, a cleanser, a toner, an essence, a mm -hmm. serum, um, uh, an exfoliator back yeah. in there as well, a moisturizer and an SPF, it yeah. gets a bit much. So this is Good three morning. in one. Okay. So you can cleanse, use this, moisturizer, sunscreen. Yeah. So this cuts down a lot. Mm -hmm. I like that you're also showing this because I, especially in hair care, the whole two in one thing I think is a big like no-no. Yeah. So the fact yeah. that you are saying actually these do work, yeah. these will cut down time mm. and they are effective. Yeah. So the fact that you just kind of shake this up and it goes, mist yeah. it over your face. Yeah. And um, essence and serum are really mm. sort of towards the end of that whole 10 steps. They are, yeah. And are they more in terms of like aesthetics than on mm. the surface or? Yeah. So essences are really they're not necessary, they're nice to have in your routine, but they do give you that kind of instant gratification mm -hmm. of a more even looking skin tone. Yeah. But they do have amazing ingredients in there that are a little bit more concentrated than say a toner, um, that in the long run also help with things like balancing out skin yeah. tone, which is usually what essence is for. Mm -hmm. Serums, which we'll move actually on to in okay. a bit, are super concentrated, um, a lot more than an essence, and they can really target whatever skin Here care is. concern you have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, let's talk about serum, because yes. I did mention this. Again, this is COSRX, which I feel is, if you're new to Korean skincare, is a really good brand to go for, yeah. to like introduce you into everything. This is the Centella Blemish Amp. This looks cool. It looks very Look scientific, that. doesn't I it? I like also, like not to get caught up in the aesthetics, mm. but I like that everything's gonna strip back. It doesn't feel overly yeah. feminine. Mm. It's, 
See, this thing as well about Korean skincare is they do have their very novelty packaging yes. in some brands. But Korean men in general tend to take their skincare very seriously as well. Mm. So a lot of their packaging is very neutral. So, so tell me about this. Yeah, so this is an ampoule, which is the same as a serum, but ampoule is a bit more concentrated. Okay. So it's like a super like vitamin tablet yeah. for your skin. Um, Centella, I bought this one over because it's a very trending ingredient that's been in skincare for a long, long time, but it's kind of become very, very popular. Mm -hmm. um, and people are, if their products have Centella in it, they're like, Say yeah, that, you know. Okay. Um, it's a good all-round product for sensitive skin, oily skin, yeah. damaged skin, irritated skin. Yeah. It's a general healing plant. Okay. It's nice and light, sinks into the skin. And this thing as well for people with dry skin. Yeah. These are amazing because they'll give yeah, you. Well, depending on the serum you buy, they can provide you extra moisture. For oily skin people, a serum can yeah. um, help control sebum oil production yeah. or help with spots and acne. So with serums, you can really pick what you need for each skin like concern. Yeah. And there's like hundreds of them. So really someone could be doing all of this yeah. and then the difference could just be in the serum. Exactly, yeah, yeah. If you really want to be little it. things, yeah. Yeah, I, I love a good serum. If you really want to put your skincare routine to that next, next level, level, but you're not really into skincare, a serum is a really easy yeah. and kind of like safe route to go and effective. I like that. I'm definitely going to look into more yeah. of these. Another kind of two or three in one even are these pads that a lot of brands do. I picked up the COSRX one as well. Mm. Um, they're just such an amazing brand. Yeah. Um, are not, you not working sponsored. with COSRX? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a representative. Yeah. No, I do yeah, actually not. have these from like nearly every Korean brand because yeah. um, everyone makes them now. So these are cosmetic pads. These are the calming pads, again with Centella in. But these are like cotton pads yeah. soaked in a serum. Yeah. but a lot more watery. One side is super soft, so you can use it as like a toner. The other side is a little bit more um, textured. Textured, textured. Yeah. So you use that as a soft exfoliator. And then you could also just kind of like use it as a mask. Yeah. So if you like don't have time for a mask, you're in a rush, you could just leave a couple on your face, on. leave it for five minutes and then take it off and pat in very, very gently. Made in Korea. Made in Korea. Made in Korea. Yeah. Why, James, why are they so ahead of us? I don't know, you know, but they are. Yeah. I think their um, their regulations when it comes to what they can use in skincare is a lot more relaxed. Okay. And I think a perfect example of that is sunscreen. Mm. They have a lot of UV filters that we can't use okay. in the UK or even America because um, the FDA are so behind, mm. so old fashioned. Um, so they are allowed to experiment with all these amazing ingredients that yeah. are coming out in the UK now mm. and in the Western world. Like sheep masks have been out yes. there for years. They're a huge thing now, mm -hmm. like Garnier are doing them. So we have to talk about sunscreen. Yes. Um, sunscreen is, if you don't want to do anything, if you just want to wash your face, wash your face and use the sunscreen. Mm. There is no point using any of these products if you're not going to protect your face with sunscreen. Sunscreen blocks all the damage, obviously, from the sun. Um, that can just reverse anything that all these do for you. Yeah. So this is Biore? Biore UV. Biore. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is SPF um, 50 plus. Yeah. Um, PA++++. And tell us what PA++ so, means. PA++ is basically, to put it very simply, the ta kind of the tanning rays. Yeah. Um, so whilst it won't stop you tanning, it's great for stopping things like dark spots getting worse. Yeah. If you are breaking out um, to stop the sun giving you dark spots mm. eventually, um, redness, it stops yeah. you getting redder. Um, so things like that, which again is not something you often see in no. Western skincare. Yeah. Um, but the texture of this is like It water. is so light. And the fact mm. it's called aqua rich, it is, it's very soft, it's, it's very light. Soft. And it's just sucked in straight away, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, not it's greasy, like really, really. non-intrusive. Mm. Like it doesn't feel greasy ever on your skin. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you You're very welcome. much. I find this fascinating and like genuinely I could sit here and listen yeah. forever and just play with I mean products. the thing is with Korean skincare is there is a lot of novelty and mm. a lot of products that brands are just pushing out there for making money purposes but a lot of their products the vast majority are so good yeah. so interesting and things like a lot of us have never seen mm. before and they feel amazing they I'm feel amazing. Um, I'm certainly gonna try out a few of these things and um, I'll link everything down below um, you might show me these after. Maybe we'll do oh, a little something yeah, for it, a little Instagram TV yeah, or yeah. something. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, 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 full of ideas. But thank you again. <laughs> You're thank welcome. You so much. Thanks for having me. Um, I will link James's channel. Do go across, say hi, say I sent you, um, and check out everything down below.
But thank you again for watching. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then do it. Hit press subscribe. subscribe. We're gonna point the hair right there. Point oh, it. yeah, there. Should, yeah. There's also more video <laughs> suggestions down there. Stay tuned and watch them. My vlogs there with loads of products. I uh, might put some of these on. Maybe get you yeah, to give a recommendation. Yeah. Uh, James's channel, some social up there. But I'll see you in the next new video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.